Okay guys, what I have here is a hundred dollar mystery toy box from auctions for you. Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I was not sure what to expect out of this mystery vintage toy box from Auctions For You, but I will tell you, by the time I listed everything and added up those numbers, I was amazed at how much it added up to. And I have sold so many items quickly, so that is a plus also. Stay tuned, at the end of the video, I am gonna tell you what the owl's name is. Also in this video, you're gonna see screenshots pop up and that is what I listed the item for. That's gonna show you my title, my photo, and hopefully you guys can learn from that. I have searched comps and came up with my price. The items that sold will say sold and I have sold quite a few items. And I've got to say that I have been putting this off because I have been so busy with my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, and my phone has been just full of videos. And I wanted to make sure that I had room on my phone to do the video and to do everything I needed to do. So this is a mystery toy box. And the reason I ordered this is because Auctions for You got three or four storage units full of toys. And you guys know that I love toys. Now, I have no idea what's in here. It looks like a bunch of, um, of smalls, which I, I do love, but they are a lot of work. So let me make sure my camera's rolling here. Yes, it is. So I guess we're just gonna dig in and take a look. Um, Gosh, I cannot think of what these guys are called. Rescue Heroes, I think. Um, dirt is always free at the auctions, they say. <laughs> He's a little dirty. Um, I'm going to have to wipe him down. Typically, I will collect these guys up and lot them. Um, I will check comps individually just in case because sometimes there are items that are more sought after than others. But um, typically, I just hang on to them until I have enough to lot. So this is, and I'm probably not going to know until I look stuff up how this is going to go. Because a lot of these items I've never seen before. So this is Peter Pan. Am I in the camera here? And it looks like he is marked Disney. So he's probably a guy that I would, um, if I can get him cleaned up, he's a got a little dirt on him, but if I can clean him up, I will probably list him separately because he looks like he's probably a harder to find guy because I've never seen him before. All right, we have a horse. And this is probably gonna be kind of a long video because I kind of want to look at stuff. Um, this is a Briar horse. Um, again, Briar is hit and miss. Some are bread and butter, some are big money. Um, Probably, I don't know, I might be able to take like a magic eraser or something to get some of that off. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm not real good about cleaning stuff. I usually just leave it as is, but um, what does that say on the bottom? Made. I don't know what this is supposed to do. It looks like, I don't think it's going to work on my hand. So maybe the wings open? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've seen this before. Um, gosh, I can't remember. I don't know, does anybody know? Like it's like a doll's pet or something. The ladybug's trying to move on me. Okay, this is a, is that a glow worm? Um, and on the bottom it says, 1985. Okay, so this is probably something that I will list individually just because it is vintage and I've never seen it before. 
Ooh, there's two of them. So maybe I'll list those two together. I don't know. Hmm, never seen them. Oh, there's three. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about these guys. I mean, they might just be a bread and butter, but they could be more. So I will keep you guys posted on that. Who's this guy? Is he glow in the dark or something? It's got a number seven. Again, I am going to be utilizing Google Lens. All right, who's this? This is, um, is this Grover? And... Yeah, I can't read it. I'll have to clean it up and see. It's a squeaky toy. We may have to divide this into two videos. Okay, this is broken, it looks like. Um, I dropped it. This is a car. This is a space suit for somebody, and it looks like it says Burger King. And that looks like a McDonald's toy. What is this? Ooh, look, it's got guts. <laughs> Do you guys see that? That's like a brain in its belly. Um, I've never seen this before. It says M-I-B. Is that Men in Black, maybe? It's the first thing I think of when I think of MIB. So that one could be interesting. I'm definitely going to look that up. I don't know if it's a... Um, usually if it's McDonald's or Burger King, it'll say McDonald's. or I'm going to look that up. Is it Men in Black? Isn't that movie? Like, okay, this is another one that I will look up. I will sell these things individually if they will bring me $10 or $15 a piece. I have never seen this. Look, it's got like a little lever on the back. I don't know what it does. Oh, it like maybe it's supposed to move the arms. Moves them a little bit, but not really. So yeah, Google Lens is gonna have to be my friend on that little lady, unless you guys can tell me who it is. Uh, this is, I think, McDonald's. It, see, whenever they have the screws, it's you know a pretty good sign that it's probably a Happy Meal toy. Oh, see, this one says MIB also. Columbia. Oh, see, it says Burger King. So, maybe this one's Burger King too, but this just seems a lot better quality than this thing. So, I don't know. I'll look it up. And even if it's Burger King or McDonald's, sometimes you can still get 10 bucks or so out of them. Okay, so that's that bag. Oh, this is Polly Pocket. Um, again, it's been in a dusty, dirty storage unit. And they will tell you, heads up, they do not clean anything before they ship it. Origin Products, 2002. So this isn't super, super old. Um, I don't know if the pieces are in here or if they're missing. So we'll have to look. I have to find a spot to sit this. All right, got me some bubble wrap. This guy, who's this guy? Is this the Pillsbury Doughboy? It says 1984 Columbia Presents. So I'll have to see if I can clean him up. And then I'll look him up. Um, this is a Buzz Lightyear. I don't know what goes in here. I don't know if it's missing something. Um, it says Burger King. That seems like a really big toy for Burger King, doesn't it? I mean, it's like, it says Burger King. That's really odd. Manufactured for Burger King. So yeah, I didn't know Burger King gave away that big of toys. Here's a Peppa the Pig toy. So I will hang on to that and put it with some other Peppa the Pigs as I get them. Um, this is another Polly Pocket. It might go, yeah, I think it goes with that other set over there. That piece was clean. 
Okay. This looks like a McDonald's toy. I don't typically mess with the McDonald's toys. Um, this goes to something. I, I don't know what. I may be able to sell it as a replacement part. I'm going to have to figure out what it goes to. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. It, it's one of those that it like flips into the air. This is a pop socket. I have sold these. Um, I, the ones I have sold are the Pokemon. I've not sold a Superman, but I'm guessing uh, it's not in perfect condition. So I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Usually I sell them for about 10 bucks each, but mine are, mine were in brand new condition. This is another McDonald's toy. Slide set made in Hong Kong. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, it's very interesting. It's a really, really old um, little toy. Never seen anything like it. See the little plastic human baby? Definitely look that up. A little Brio um, school bus. I don't know what goes in there. Brio, made in Sweden. Um, I don't recognize this guy. It's some sort of horse. No clue. No markings. Um, looking in the hooves. I don't see anything. This looks like another McDonald's toy. No, it says Disney, China. Maybe that one's not McDonald's. So I might need to look that one up. Okay. What is this? Ooh. So this is one of those... Um, Nintendo guys, right? Um, it says 19, oh my goodness, I can't, Sega 19, maybe 99? I don't know, but I'm definitely going to look him up. Definitely, definitely, definitely. He's cool. Mm, that's a Wendy's toy, vintage Wendy's toy. Okay, what is this? <laughs> you guys know I like smalls and I like little bags full of them. They look like little babies. I'm so intrigued. Open. I can't get it open fast enough. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Open. Okay. So, what on earth have you ever seen anything like it? It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, there's something in this bag. Is it a million dollars? Um, angel face. So I wonder if that's like a hint as to what these go to. All right. So there's a whole bunch of little babies in here. There's babies and the bottle is like as big as the baby. I don't know who this little guy is, a little puppy. I don't know. Those are definitely interesting to me. So, um, I will be looking those up and getting back to you guys. Uh, this is a, oh my gosh, look how cute it is. It's very old. I don't know if somebody just made this or what. It's coming unstitched. It's Ernie, right? From Bert and Ernie? Or is that Bert? I think that's Ernie. Huh, it's like a little plush doll. Interesting. Okay, this looks like another McDonald's toy. Uh, yep, McDonald's. Uh, no date. It looks, it's like a top. It's kind of cool. And I think this is probably McDonald's also. Yeah. Okay. What's this? This is, I have no idea. Um, what are these? Oh, I caught it with my leg. Hold on. What 
is it? Looks like a flower or something that goes in. I don't know. Let's see what's in here. I have no idea what this is. Is it Barbie? Oh, it's another Polly Pocket. Okay. I, I don't know. Polly. Polly. So I'll have to look it up. I don't know if it might go with that other set, but it doesn't look to be the same color code. Who is this guy? It says Davidson. Hmm. And the bottom of his foot says Fox Hasbro. Anybody know who this guy is? Shirt says Davidson. It's got that on the side. I don't know. Don't know. Google lens. <gasps> Another glow worm. Glow worm. I think I already have that one. Who's this? Oh, you guys know I like these. I don't think I've seen this one. This one is a uh, 94. I've got one in a purple outfit that I sold. So she'll be good for probably 10, $15, depending on how rare she is. Maybe 20 if her outfit's rare. I might get lucky on that one. We'll see. I will definitely keep you posted. All right, these are just little zoo animals. They are just uh, cheap plastic, so not any money really there, but I can lot them with other ones that I pick up at um, different places, and then I sell them in a big lot, and I can make a little money that way. These are, I have no idea what that is. It, I mean, I'm guessing it's a McDonald's toy. Oh no, it says, it says Fisher Price. Well, that's weird. I thought for sure that was gonna be like a McDonald's toy. Maybe Fisher Price did a McDonald's toy, but it says 1995 FP, which is Fisher Price. And it doesn't say made for McDonald's. So I'll look them up. She's got a little defect paint loss right here on her cheek, but the other one's fine. So I think these are McDonald's, even though I don't see where they say McDonald's. So we'll come back around to those. All right, what's this? Another bag of goodies. I love toys. Toys are like my favorite. Okay, so this is, I believe, Diego, right? Never seen him with a helmet. Uh, but it looks like he's got the screws. So I'm wondering if he is a... I don't know. I'll have to look him up. He doesn't doesn't say McDonald's, but like I said, usually if they've got the... Okay, looky here. I wonder if these are all a set. Little, little monkey, and then there's another monkey. So I am definitely going to have to look those up. They might go with Diego. They might not. I don't even know for sure if that is Diego. D Dora and Diego, don't they go kind of hand in hand? I think I've sold them together before. Okay. We have a Burger King Toy Story. Um, okay, well, so this is Toy Story. And this was the Burger King Toy Story. So they are, I guess, Burger King had big toys. They're never that big. I mean, how'd they fit that in a Happy Meal? Okay, I, I don't know what date this is. I'm guessing maybe it's the first one that came out. Who's he? What's his name? I don't know. Okay, what's this? This looks like more of that Polly Pocket. So it opens. Don't know anything about that. So I know about the Bluebird, the earlier ones. Okay, here's a troll. And uh, it's a little messy. <laughs> it's hair is a little messy. I don't know if I can brush troll hair or not, but okay. Who's this guy? Ooh, what's in there? What is, ooh, who's that guy? Huh, this says Men in Black, so this must be another, is it, McDon is it a McDonald's toy or what? I'm really wondering about these. I can't get it out. Okay, anyway, yeah, I'll have to figure that out. But it says men in black, and I can't read it. I can't get the angle right. But I'll look it up. It's definitely interesting. Okay, 
This is a Polly Pocket. Ooh, Sunshine Beach Polly Pocket. Um, I don't, it looks like it might be missing the shoes. This looks like it fits up there, so they might be in the bottom. This is from 2012, so it's not old. So I'm sure I can, I can sell it for something. I'll make some money on that. Okay. What on earth is this guy? This is weird. Lucasfilm, J. Franco and Sons. I have no idea. Is that Star Wars or Star Trek? It's plastic or something, rubbery plastic. I don't know. Hmm. That's definitely weird. You guys know what that is? You ever seen it? I'm gonna be looking a lot of stuff up. It's pulling her hair. I don't know who this guy is. Um, DC Comics. I'll have to look him up. This is a mermaid doll. Again, it feels like McDonald's, but I don't think it is. Just says China on the bottom. Anybody know who she is? I don't know, I have to look her up. This is, it says Kenner Division Tonka. I don't know, it's some sort of bed. So I don't know if that's like a dollhouse. You know, I like selling dollhouse stuff, but I gotta identify it first. What's this? This is a Fisher Price Jiffy dump truck. It is from 1970. Oh, watch guys. It's missing something here. I don't know if that's important or not, but interesting. Okay, so this says Origin Projects 2000, so I know this is something, oh, Polly, Polly Pocket again. Um, I don't have that open. Oh my goodness, I'm awful. Huh, how do you open it? Oh, there we go. So there's some accessories in here. Um, I don't see a doll. I see a wig. All right. Again, guys, I, I'm gonna do some research and at the end of the video, I'm gonna put some information for you guys because Otherwise, I, I'm just showing you stuff and I don't know anything. So this looks like a really old, really weird mouth Hello Kitty. Hello. Um, it says Hello Kitty 1980 something. It's cut off um, the, where the tag folds. So it's from the 80s. And it says machine washable, so machine washable, machine dryable, do not dry clean. So I'm probably just gonna throw that in the washing machine. It's missing a whisker here. I'm not sure what's going on with the mouth. Who knows? You never know with stuff like that. Okay. This is a mini mouse. Um, Disney, Taiwan. I think it's ceramic, but she has a chip out of her nose, unfortunately. I don't know if that happened in transit or if um, it was like that, but that's unfortunate because it's really cute. So I have to look that up, try to look it up. Sometimes I don't do well looking things up. All right, here's another. This one says 1973 Epoch, made in Japan. Huh, that's definitely a looker upper. One, it's old. Epoch, I think, is the same company that made the vintage um, uh, calico critters. So, a bug's life. 
McDonald's toy. Um, so this would be cool if its face wasn't a hot mess, but you can see right there it's it's peeling. The hat's peeling, so that's a bummer. Uh, I'll have to look up what it says. 1998 maybe ragdoll so if this was in good condition I would definitely list it separately because it's not I don't know if I'll list it or not here's more of these vehicles that I have never seen before that totally are intriguing to me I'm kind of excited to look those up they got to be worth something right they're old and I've never seen them this is a McDonald's. Um, I've sold these before. Uh, I sell them in a lot. They're Bratz dolls. This one's, I won't mess with it because it's so dirty and it's McDonald's and I'm not going to clean it. Um, this guy is the Toy Story guy. This is Disney Pixar. So this one is not McDonald's. Um, I don't know. Have to look him up. Hey guys. This one's Mattel, 1971, so it's different. Another glow worm. I'm intrigued by those as well. I, want, I need to figure out what they say on the bottom. Pickle juice, 10 cents. This is Muppets. I don't know if that's vintage or not. Sure looks like it. I will probably list this separately. Um, I will keep you posted. Same with this guy. Maybe I'll put them together actually. Um, cause they look pretty old. I just listed, um, one the other day that wasn't super old. All right. This has its own eBay bag. Okay. So these are old, um, they're slides of some sort. Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney. Pinocchio, Mary Poppins, um, yeah, I don't know, have to look them up, more of these, which I love, and I think this is the one that I may have sold before, but you can see the discoloration between her top and her sleeves, I don't know if it's just a different material, but I have some that have done that, but they still sell. So that's no problem. I just need to clean her up a little bit. Same with this one. You see how the shirt is kind of a different color and hopefully I can get that off her pants. She's just really dirty. Give her a soak. But yeah, I, I like those. Those for sure are great. This is a made in the USA, Fisher Price, um, little people like, you know, the ones, the old, old school ones, a little train. Might be able to sell that separately. All right. Let's just rip into it, right? These are the big guys. And they are Fisher Price from 1974. There's two of those. Um, no clue what this is. Look, the face changes. How cute is that? It says Fisher Price, 19... 97. Oh, I see. So it's a little car and it changes the face. Well, those are fun. Um, definitely have to look. I don't know what that goes to. That seems like something totally different. But there's a little boat and there's a little car. Aren't they cute? I think they're cute. Okay, let's look at this bag. This is the Toy Story. Um, a horse but I feel like he does something he's got like a battery compartment oh okay so his legs go in and you push the button on the side and he kicks and he is he's Disney Disney Pixar I don't know we'll have to look him up he's a little dirty also he'll need a he'll need cleaned up he's a little scuffed up we'll see 
Fisher Price, $19.95. This one, I don't know, that one's not marked. Oh, am I in the camera? Sorry, guys. This is a, I don't know, Holy Pocket, maybe? I could be totally wrong. Here's another mermaid doll, the crazy hair. I don't know what those are. There were two of them. Whoops. Uh, here's another one of those crazy horses. I really want to know what that goes to. What is that? It's like a troll human. Huh. It says 1991 applause. Anybody ever seen that before? Definitely looking that up. Some sort of like, I don't know. Okay, here's the... Old toys intrigue me. I love vintage toys. And T knows that I love toys and she knows I like smalls. So that's probably why she did this because I love this type of stuff and, the, and she knows that. So this guy is, I don't know. It's Bert, I think, right? Is it a finger puppet? Hello. I don't know, I'll have to look him up. Just a made in China car. Um, another Mattel 1971 wood. Look how cute it is. It dumps. It's a little dump truck. There's another bus with those holes. I've got to figure out what those holes go to. It must be some sort of figure. Oh, look here. How cute is this? This is Disney. Isn't he cute? this is but maybe is that a poly pocket the newer ones maybe it goes with that house cowboy that's just a mcdonald's and another car okay we got one more no we got some more in here these are um playmobil they are vintage i can tell um what they look like. So there's a little baggie. Um, these are Sesame Street little vehicles. Again, a little dirty when he cleaned up. Um, Tyco 19, I can't read it, 80 maybe. So there's four of them. So I will sell them more than likely as a lot. And what is this? This looks interesting. You wanna look? Yeah! Let's look. Oh. Hold on, let me grab that guy. Oh, let's see, who is this guy? That's what just fell on the ground. No clue. Um, it says, I can't read it. I'll have to look it up later and then get back to you guys, but I don't know if these are some sort of set because they're all in the same bag. Um, this one says 1983 uh, TSR. I, I don't know. But definitely vintage. And I like stuff like that that I don't know because it helps me learn and I'm learning about toys. Um, this is some sort of like bendy dude. Bendy dinosaur. Oh, this says Hong Kong on the inside. And so does this one. So I don't know what these are. I'll have to look them up. They may be a junky, cheap, like, toy. Or they could be very collectible and hard to find. Could, no idea. But this one is marked Hong Kong also. And I have never seen anything like that Hong Kong right there on his back. He's definitely vintage. Anybody know? Yeah, no clue who these are. 19, I can't tell if that's 82 or 62. Um, definitely have to look him up. More dinos. Uh, 
this one's just made in Hong Kong too. And it, that goes all the way in. It's weird. It's like hollow. Yeah, these are all Hong Kong. That was kind of weird, huh? There's another one. It's like a Pegasus. Isn't that what you call a flying horse? I'm definitely intrigued by this bag. Look at this guy. I don't know. What did you send me? Another Hong Kong. This one is Fleetwood Toys made in Hong Kong. Definitely an interesting bag for sure. I'm gonna keep these separate since I'm not sure. This guy's leg is broken, unfortunately. I don't know. He is Hong Kong on the side of his leg here. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting batch of toys right there. Okay, I think that's it. That is it. So stay tuned. I'm gonna add to this video and I will keep you guys posted. Huge thank you. I hit 1K subscribers on my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. Okay, Bolo Buddies, the name has been determined. Did your name make the cut? It is going to be Olo. O-L-O. -O. Olo the Boloing Owl. I think it's so cute. I don't know. Somebody put that one in the comments and it just stuck with me. So that is the one I picked. There were so many cute names. If you guys um, go to my Easter Bolo video, go check out all the cute names in the comment. But this is going to be Olo the Owl. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.